Stan Jibalisco back again to talk just a little more about isolation transformers in audio applications and uh, another of their uh, of their advantages. Sometimes when you connect a headset by means of a capacitor directly to the output of a of an audio amplifier stage, uh, you may get hum in that headset. Sometimes when you have audio amplifiers and you have ground loops, uh, you, w you may get hum in your speakers. An isolation transformer like this can minimize that hum and can minimize problems that you sometimes get if you directly connect a headset, for example, that's what this is, to the output of a, an audio amplifier. I have a little Radio Shack audio isolation transformer. It is so tiny. It is only about the size of a pencil eraser. And the little thing is meant, it has a one-to-one -one turns ratio, and it's meant for specifically this purpose, to prevent uh, hum that might develop in the headset. Now, I'm assuming here that you're not using a battery, that you're using an AC-operated power supply, which is prone to hum. Sometimes, though, even if you have uh, a battery here uh, and you have ground loops in your system, those ground loops can pick up the uh, dirty electricity, the AC electromagnetism that is all around you from your AC wiring in your house. And that, too, can produce hum, and an isolation transformer can help to minimize that. Uh, that is an audio isolation transformer. So, uh, th it also it minimizes the capacitive interaction between two stages, although it can't quite completely eliminate that. It greatly minimizes that interaction. If, of course, if you capacitively couple uh, the output of an amplifier to a headset, you're going to have plenty of capacitive interaction, because that's what a capacitor is there for. Uh, so, that will uh, sometimes work better than just simple capacitive coupling. It costs a little more, though. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Till next time, so long.